Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss the Python distributions we should use and what are the consideration points while choosing a Python distribution for machine learning. So we've got two options. One is we install a base Python package and uh, then we install the other packages as required. So as you can see I've got this cube which is the base Python distribution and one, two, three, four, five, six are the packages we require and we install them going forward as and when we need them. And option two is that we install all the packages at one. And we've got Anaconda and Canopy which are um, machine learning packages which contain the base Python distribution and the corresponding versions of the packages that we might need in the future. So what's the advantage or what we should, uh, which one should we take up? So uh, ideally we should go for option two, uh, install all the packages at once because if we go for option one and we install just the Python based distribution, it becomes really difficult and tedious uh, to find compatibility. For example, you could install package one but it might not be compatible with your base Python distribution. So it is best to go with uh, a distribution which contains all the machine learning packages as well as the base Python distribution. And Anaconda and Canopy are two such uh, distributions which we should use. Now um, for a recommended reading, I've, I'll open those uh, websites or already got them open. And I will also put a link in the video notes so you can have a look. Uh, but let's just go here. And I've already got it open. So it says that it is entire. So this is one site I went through which says choosing a Python distribution with machine learning in mind. And it says it is entirely possible to obtain a generic copy of Python and all the add all the required machine libraries to it. The process can be difficult because you need to ensure that you have all the required libraries in the correct version to guarantee success. In addition, you need to perform the configuration required to make sure that the libraries are accessible when you need them. So it seems like a lot of headache. And the other one is, it says many people who do scientific computing are on Windows, yet many of the scientific computing packages are notoriously difficult to build and install on this platform. So uh, even both these sites actually say that you install either Anaconda or Canopy. I will go with Anaconda going forward for all the videos. Uh, feel free to install either of them. Uh, and I hope you find this video useful. It gives you a bit of an overview as to uh, which package distribution you should take and what you should consider while uh, starting machine learning. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I am doing. Thank you.